don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description. It can be useful and speed up process when you want to create some quick changes by allowing editing of fields directly in the list view. Right, so let's go ahead and first of all, perform this in the category admin. Now there are some considerations here. We'll see that in a second. So let's add list editable. And then what we're going to do is we'll specify which fields can be edited in the list view. So we're set, for example, the name, because that's where we're going to have an issue. So let's set the name. And you can see that we're told in actual fact we can't use the name because this name is used in the list display links. So let's go back into, let's just highlight that out, comment that out a second. Let's go back into the admin here and see what that means. So when we go into categories, we find that I can't click on this slug. We've added it here, but I can't click on it. The actual name is currently being used as the link to get into the detail for that record. And that's why we can't use it at the moment. So we're going to need to potentially need to swap that over so that there is another field that can be utilized to view the category. And then we can then start to think about using that name in the list edit editable list so that we can edit the name directly from the list here. So what we might want to do is just change that around slightly. So uh, let's go back into the code. Right, so what we can do, if we go into models, let's have a look for our model, a field that we could utilize as the link into the individual detail is the ID. We could just use the ID instead, and then we could move the name so that we can make it editable in the list. So let's give that a go. So first of all, let's add the ID here in the list display. Okay, so we're good to go there. And then what we can then do is make that the link to the individual uh, category item. So list display equals, now that's going to be then the ID. Okay, and then what we can then do is use the list uh, editable to then make the name editable. Right, so this is going to be the name. And there we go. Right, so let's have a look, see what we've got. So we'll refresh, now had the name. So this is the link. So you see I clicked on the number, the ID, and that's going to take me then to the individual category item to edit. But you can now see that the actual name in this list is editable. And I can go ahead and edit directly from here. And the save button here is on the right hand side. Okay, so hopefully that was useful. This is something that you may never use, of course, or it may be very useful for you, depending on your certain scenario. But that's how to, or the basics of allowing editing of fields, not forgetting to change the list display link first, if you do want to use, in our case, the name to edit that in the list.